Hello, welcome to our wet video here. Very short video here because we're going to include it with our other videos as well for touring with us. So this is the school, uh, the Copal School here to the left here. We'll probably shoot more of this in the summer here. Just in case you're wondering what that noise was, it was actually a van um, on the other side there with a truck. Uh, so yeah, it is really rotten weather down here in this direction here. Um, we're heading towards Home Bargains today and that's probably where we're going to end up. Isn't that right, Jeremy? We're soaked to death. Yeah. Absolutely. Who would want to walk in this sort of weather, to be honest with you? <laughs> so, yeah. Our wet edition of touring with us here. As we witness the wet weather down in this area. This is actually Chalkton Way here. Hello and welcome to touring with us here. We are touring in Havel, Suffolk here and you can see behind me there is bus waiting for Cambridge. Not many people using it at this pandemic time here in uh, February. For that reason it is Wednesday the 24th of February 2021. I'm going to take you on a journey that hopefully you'll never forget for many years and centuries to come. Yes, I've sort of needed a shave here just thought I'd let you know on that particular note. So come with me and of course I'll take you on a journey that hopefully you'll never forget. Thank you very much for joining us here on this exclusive day here. Beautiful sunshine here at the bus station of Haverhill. Hey. How are you, friend? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a wave. Give us a wave. Have you been watching me? Yeah, touring with us. That's it, you've got it in one. <laughs> See you later, Rob. Take care. That's one of our friends here. Um, it's nice to have it live on the footage as well. Um, here, um, he's one of the guys that used to work in the bookies many years ago. Anyway, um, that might still return in the future. But over in that sort of direction that is the cinema complex. Uh, hopefully that does return in the future, which will be absolutely lovely. You've got Premier Travel. Of course, I remember Premier Travel as a um, sort of bus um, company many years ago, but it was a travel office there. I don't know if that's going to be open when holidays start coming back, because they were advertising for holidays for abroad, for example. And... We've got Pound Stretcher over there, which used to be Leo's, and before that it used to be Sainsbury's. I'm not quite sure before that. Maybe it wasn't anything. I don't know. Do let us know what it was before the actual Sainsbury's was there, because Sainsbury's is now the other side of Haverhill in that sort of direction. Up on this slope here, this bit here, has been recently resurfed. And uh, of course it used to be a rough old path to take you into the town. But I can safely say that, of course, it used to be on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, Chalkston Chippy Van used to park their van there. I don't know why they don't actually return to this spot. Maybe they've got uh, permission. I don't know what's the reason behind that. Maybe it's social distancing. I don't know what it is, but it is actually wrong in my opinion. This building here has been standing for quite some time now. Um, and it's closed at the moment, but of course when it is open, there are people standing social distancing. But of course, it's so difficult to do it. These are the shops that are currently closed at the moment. It looks like it's getting ready to open. I thought it was open actually, but of course, on the sides here. Friday the 26th, there you go. Great news that Poundland, Poundland will be back open, which will be absolutely fantastic news. Of course, I presume it means February the 26th, 2021. <laughs> Costa is still open for 
takeaways at the moment, which is great news. Also, Martins has been open since the pandemic first started. Over in that far distance there, I'll zoom in there just to let everyone know that the main essentials are open at this point. Spec Sabres, in case you have problems with your eyes, which is quite useful to know. Here I'm sitting on a fabulous bench here, which has been put here, of course, a couple of months ago. But yeah, um, thank you very much for still sticking by it, touring with us. Hopefully you'll remember these videos in years to come and hopefully you've enjoyed it so far well they are happy to go about their business and they're not frightened of any sort of illness whatsoever or even covid19 or coronavirus as they say probably wondering some of you out there why I'm actually stood here with a coat on well actually of course I shouldn't really be but of course I like to keep myself slightly warm because I might catch a chill well a passerby actually just literally walked past me a minute ago through this um, pigeon lot here and of course saying to me that if you're not struggling in this world just this saying here if you're not struggling in this world then you're not living in the real world does that make sense if you're not struggling in this world then you're not living in the real world remember that for many years and centuries to come but of course yeah and I said you got to be positive and this guy agreed with me so yeah we spoke normally and that's how it should be I'm now coming away from the churchyard, which is literally behind me there. Look how beautiful it does look, and the bushes to go with it as well. And uh, no, we're not talking about anything naughty behind the bushes there. But anyway, uh, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it light. This building gives us some kind of history. It's been standing here since the Murray time, where they used to have amusements and arcades in that section there where the stairs go up to the toilets of the gents and the ladies and uh, of course this is sadly closed but look at it it looks very sad because of course it's not open at the moment JD Wilsons we miss you and hopefully they do return because I miss those refills of the 99p because of the closure here um, the curfew last year which is why I posted on the Hable News UK about this um, really really sad it's gone and hopefully it does return into the future the sun is shining on the Weatherspoons for it to return um, that's the Drabbert Smuck and uh, over in that sort of direction is what was known as Peacock I don't know if Peacock is ever going to come back So as per usual, of course, if you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up, whatever you like to do. Thank you very much for supporting our video and hopefully we will be, uh, by doing these videos, sharing the love and hopefully some return of some normality into the future of 2021 possibly or many years to come but hopefully it will be this year of 2021 where we'll see a bit more people out and hopefully Poundland returns as well which is expected to return and some normality into the summer and as quickly as possible because we want to see our pumps out restaurants cafes all those kind of things that we all love and enjoy well enjoy is the word 
but thank you very much for watching and uh, of course we want to see everything that we most dearly love back to some kind of normality and as much normality as possible. <laughs> right, Graham, all right. <laughs>